I just wanted to welcome everybody. Appreciate you coming out and taking some time uh, for our Up Your Game series, the uh, educational series that we've been doing here. Um, just a little bit of quick context. Um, ARG works with 2,000-ish customers in the D.C. area, and we're having somewhere around 200 meetings every week, month. What's the stat? I forget that. I think it's a month. Yeah. This is Erica's team. I think, uh, you know, she really drives the teams pretty hard. But all that said, um, we're having a lot of discussions around um, what technologies are people interested in, what do they care about, and it's helped us to kind of put together a series on uh, what do you all care about. So out of that, it's been interesting. We've been able to talk to our partners like Foresight and figure out kind of what we could bring in minute segment to kind of give you a little bit of education and time to talk to your peers. So without further ado, I've got Beth from Foresight and uh, Mike as well, um, and they're going to tell you a little bit about hybrid cloud. So I wanted to start off a little bit about um, hybrid cloud. Are you connected to the benefits? How many of you today got on Facebook or uh, went online and transferred money at your bank so you had cash when you got here today? Anybody? <laughs> Paid a bill? Anybody pay a bill online today? So technology is changing and it's at the forefront of everything that we're doing. So this is the digital age innovation and new technology and you being most of you on the IT side of things, I think most of you IT, directly part of IT or supporting the IT side, probably are having and coming up with innovation, new technology to help your clients and your customers every day. That's what you, you know, are hired to do. Um, and the trend will continue. Um, to grow 22% in 2000 up to 2020 with everybody trying to get online. More access, more internet, more technologies, more apps. Would you guys agree with that? See that coming? All right. All right. So what is driving this change in business? The end customer. And that can be for you. It can be your internal end customer, maybe your accounting department, your sales department, as well as your end user, right, who's buying things from you and in your business. So it's really important that we understand that people are driving the changes faster, quicker to get the apps and information that they need to do their jobs. Would you guys agree with that? All right. So it's not just retailers. It's, um, you know, business models are changing, e-commerce, mobile pay, content delivery, um, data analytics. It's, it's, it's driving this change in business for more bandwidth all the time. New collaboration tools are always on availability. Literally last night, 12 o'clock at night, I forgot my son was going to, to Mexico with his dad. And I forgot to change his international access so he could make phone calls back. And I was freaking out because I'm like, I don't want to get a thousand dollar bill. You know, I mean, we all know what happens when you travel internationally. You don't make arrangements up front. So I went online and I called Sprint and I couldn't get through. Something was going on. So I said, hmm, I'm going to go on the internet. So I went on the internet. I went on, you had four different options. I clicked on, not chat, but I clicked on email or communication, figure out, I'll hear from them tomorrow. Three minutes, I got a response back. I told them what I wanted, and they sent me a, a link to have my son change his system, like a phone, like a link where you can download it. And all that is created with technology and cloud and getting connected. So it was at its best working right in front of me last night. So it was a perfect example to use today. And I'm sure we all can think of examples in our businesses that you're doing that with your customers. You're doing it every day and things you're trying to accomplish in the IT world. What is, dry, what, um, is the center of the business success? You, the IT staff. You're helping your organizations be competitive helping get sales faster, making sure if you're in real estate that you're getting the, the contracts back quicker. All these things that you all are probably doing, how to communicate with your customers, you, the IT staff, and the people that support IT in the background, you're what's the center of the business success. Would you guys agree with that? You guys are, right? All right. So the transformation of business processes, everything's changing, and really what's coming out of it is, is everybody wants to get there faster. I don't know about you, but I don't like to wait. Do you like to wait for a web page to open? Do you, do you want your customers waiting? Or you have internal employees and they're trying to get to an app or somewhere online to do your accounting for the month and you can't bill? Well, that's dollars in your pocket. I would probably say everybody would agree. So latency is so important. Latency is critical and I'm sure you would agree to that. 
Um, downtime, security breaches. Does anybody stay up at night worrying about, oh my gosh, can they get my customer information? Am I protected? I'm sure Target did. I'm sure all these companies, I think recently, what was the recent one? There was recently a breach. British Airways. British Airways. So <laughs> do you think those IT people are, they're probably getting a lot, a lot of sleep because maybe they, they need to figure out how, how to be more secure and protected. So what can we do? What can we do here and help you integrate the cloud and in getting there to help you be more competitive with your clients, internal and external? So that's really the goal here is how to help you get there. And it is projected, just so you know, and you guys might know these facts, but cloud computing is projected to increase to $162 billion by 2020, cloud computing. And cloud computing spending from what you guys are going to be looking to do to grow and keep up with your organizations to be at the forefront, 4.5 4 times the rate of IT spending from 2009, six times the rate of spending to 2020. That's crazy how fast it's grown. But it's not that easy, right? How many of you have a cloud strategy today? Some sort of cloud strategy. You do, right. So cloud isn't for every application, right? Some deployments, it just doesn't make sense to go to the cloud and pull down applications. Maybe you're doing it on site, maybe it doesn't make sense. But in turn, 70% of enterprises are doing some sort of hybrid on site and off site. 85% are doing multi-cloud, different types of cloud environments. Who here um, uses Microsoft or AWS, Google, SoftLayer? Those are all the different cloud, public cloud access providers. And you, people are doing a combination, I'm sure. I think you said combination of a couple different ones. Right. Um, but what's driving it all and what really matters is low latency. If you can't get there, guess what? People will uninstall that app and they will move on to the next website. How much business can you lose if someone goes to that next website? That's pretty powerful. I can tell you right now, when I go, I went the other night to buy a pair of shoes. I know, I like clothes, but went to buy a pair of shoes and I couldn't get that pair of shoes from a website that was taking too long. I got out of it and I went to the next website and I bought my shoes. So if that happens and you're a shoe <laughs> distributor, you could be out of business. I think the, the um, Amazon, I want to say 100 millisecond of delay 10 years ago cost Amazon, what, what um, do we have that? I gotta go back. Let me go back. I think I missed that slide, but um, here it is. Amazon reported that one millisecond in latency cost 1% in sales almost a decade ago. Can you imagine what that is today or what that can be to your business, depending on your sales and what you're selling? So it's really important to connect faster. So it's really all about the ecosystem, guys. It is. I mean, it's not about using one cloud strategy. I mean, as you know, Beth had mentioned, you can have multiple, and all those different pieces do all these different things. And from a all, from a high level to a low level, Corsair can provide all of that to you. So we provide an ecosystem. We provide the data center, the space, the power, the cooling, the security. At the end of the day, so what we've done is we bring network providers, we bring cloud providers. We bring the enterprise all into one ecosystem where they can all do business with each other. A big thing for us is cloud on ramps, you know, express route. So it's literally single mode fiber connecting their network pops to your rack. That's low latency. The throughput's going to be better. At the end of the day, you might even save some money from bandwidth costs, especially when it comes to AWS. <laughs> figured it out faster. You did. Better <laughs> late. Um, but yeah, so this is really what I'm talking about is that ecosystem. And these are the kind of cu customers that are clients of ours. Um, they use all different kinds of you know cloud platforms specific to the resting area where I, where we sit um, is pretty much we have a number of these different providers. When it comes to AWS Direct Connect, we are the only other provider outside of Equinix that does that specific to the resting area. We're the only person and we're diverse from Ashburn. So that's a big play. Um, so you can kind of see and look and see the type of clients are here. And from an overall scheme, it's a little bit of the Fortune 1000 and enterprise all together. So this kind of breaks down where, every, where all the deployments are. We're in, actually, we have 20 different data centers in eight different metro markets. Um, so that hybrid cloud approach is deployed throughout that um, ecosystem of data centers. Um, we work with you know, a number of different you know, 
uh, people, specifically ARG, a, a number of you know, opportunities working with clients like yourself and helping you deploy your cloud strategy, whether it's with AWS or Express or Apple. This goes into a little bit about where every deployment is. Software is not in every data center. Express route is not in every data center. Specific to our REST and data center, where a lot of you guys are, uh, we have AWS, we have Software, um, we have Oracle. Uh, those are all direct connects. So it's literally plug and play from that point on. So, go ahead. Let's go. I was just going to say this slide is if you are looking to do any of these things in your business over the next year or two such as disaster recovery, hybrid solutions, looking at cloud and you know, more cloud environments. If you're looking to, if you have latency issues on your applications today, if you have software hardware refresh going on or you're planning it next year, um, moving offices, adding an office, that is the time that talking to a course site makes sense. So when you think about what, you know, hope, oh, what did I get out of the night? If any of these things you're looking to do, this is where you talk to ARG and us to talk now about what you want to do a year from now or six months or two years. So we can help you plan and find the best route, whether that is AWS, Azure, and where it makes sense for you to go and how to help you get there and save you money and be competitive. And at the end of the day, we're just a safe drive place and secure that we in-house your servers. So just think of it that way um, and your access to all the different on-ramps. And you're now... Uh, when you do the on rips, you're now on. Um, you're outside of going the public. You're going now the public. You're not the public cloud anymore. Going through the internet, where you can have those latency issues, and things are going faster and quicker because you're sitting literally in an ecosystem right on the edge. You're right there, and that's really one of the huge benefits of being in a data center. So specific to a baseball game, we figure we'd say, okay, what, what's one of our clients that makes sense with MLB? Like, well, MLB Network. Um, so they are a big client of ours up in the New Jersey area. Um, they chose us specifically for their ability to scale. Um, they have a number of different collaboration as well as a cloud strategy that they're formulating. So that was a big part, part of the reason why they chose us was we're not there yet. You might not be there yet, but we want to be there. And we need to be in a place where we have the ability to do so. So from a scalability perspective, it doesn't matter how, you know, if you're a rack of co-location to an entire data center, you know, people like MLB, to you know, someone who's just has a couple servers. Those are all our clients. So to wrap it up, let's hit a home run. I, I had to throw that in there, and let ARG and Corsite help meet your cloud strategy needs and get connected to the benefits. We do have. I'm sure y'all want to take one with you, but we do have here just the MLB um, case study in case you wanted to read up on it when you're bored. And lastly, anybody who signs up for um, a tour with Corsite and attends a, a, a tour with Corsite over the next month, um, you'll get a $100 gift card from Visa to go take your whoever you want out and go do something fun just to thank you for coming and sitting down with us and strategizing with us. And it may not be today. It could be a year from now. But we would love to be able to work with you and ARG and figure out how to help you be competitive and help your internal and external clients be as successful as you guys can all be. Okay, that's it. Sure. We're done. <laughs> Thank you.